survive this fall. Whoa, this place is huge! But how do we get out? I've doomed us. Nah, we've been in doomier situations than this. We'll find a way. True. Two things about Kadira annoy me, and neither have to do with her gameplay style. The first is the no lips thing. Kadira certainly doesn't have lips because she is an anime character. And it's not as if anime characters can't have lips. It's just like, well, Tarani has lips. Mmm, Tarani's lips. I, I mean, uh, but Kushi, Ajna, everybody else, they just have the typical anime line. I doubt Kadira has full, plump, delicious lips like Tarani. I, I mean, uh, Anyway, the blue glow here means we have to run into it while being blue. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Boop. You're the big boy of this area. I am not about to fight you. If I can avoid it. And the second thing about uh, Kadira that annoys me, if I could show it. Now you have nothing to fear. Yeah, I can't show it. But if you look at her in conversations, the deal is I messed that up. You can actually get that right now. Don't hit that, I believe. But if you look at her portrait in conversations, her eyebrow color is black, whereas her, um... Yep, okay, that ain't the way to do it. Whereas her hair color seems to be, like, a light orange. And, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's just something that annoys me so much. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if we hit this, this platform right here disappears and a monster spawns. Yeah. So, you know, do your thing. Come on. We got this. I do believe we need to go down, but honestly, what's up? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Do not fall on the enemy. Alright, cool. We're level 7. Against my wishes, please don't go further than that. And as far as Kadira is concerned, with her being a new person that I'm not actually going to use to show off what they can do, I'm not taking fights in general if I can avoid them. But I will say this much. No, wait, go this way first. I will say this much. That I will go over every character with some level of detail when we unlock uh the ability to do so or maybe i just wait until we get all the characters i hear the ring cell i kid i'm not gonna wait until i get all the characters i'm just gonna wait until i get the uh i think it's called training mode when i get training mode i'll spend like five hours doing a skill exhibition for all the characters I have at any given point. It will probably take me five hours. Because I do love to ramble, so... Yo, 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 no, 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 no. Don't fall. Okay, we can do this, I think. Hmm. We have to jump, land, down. There we go. We are almost, almost to the halfway point. I'm still mad you want to do a, uh, get five. All right, now don't get 10. Don't get 15. Moving forward, I'm going to need you to get 20. You for real? You, you, you for real right now. Worm. Gross! What is that? A sandworm. That is the tail of a sandworm. It's that big? I thought, you know, worms. Animals in the Almuta Desert region can grow to incredible size. There have been countless studies of their mutations. I can get you the research if you're interested. It's really quite fascinating. Um, maybe later. For now, let's just get rid of it. A quick jab should get it out of the way. A shot from my bow, then. No, Zebe. I'll do it. As you like, but don't expect this to win me over. Now quit being an... Mm. Anyway, to get this door to open, we have to press this button and drop scoops of ice cream. 
or I don't know some Japanese thing I don't know I was about to say Pocky but 100% isn't that Pocky isn't served in a bowl Udon Udon served in a bowl sure let's go with that bowls of Udon you know what screw it bowls of ice cream despite you know the fact that like I, I highly highly doubt you'd eat ice cream with chopsticks that is incredibly suspect possibly offensive bang hey right. I owed one since I didn't try to do a Tungar impression a true Tungar impression that is excuse oh really yo chill bro I gotta do this now get down it's about to get crazy in here. Ajna's turning blue. She's running around at the speed of... Oh. Oh my god. Is there a secret Sonic reference in Indivisible? Yeah. I'm certain that was, you know, what they had in mind. Jump. How did I even... Okay, whatever. I'm gonna assume that it's wind coming through cracks in the walls and not just... Ugh wind blowing through said walls mm. gotta be careful because there are enemies around and super duper don't want to level up more than I already have yeah I know I got enough for stupid Manian's defense upgrade I'm not gonna do it one of the things I'm gonna spoil for you now because it just now dawned on me Indivisible, you could have done a lot more with these background animals. Like, here's what you do. Here's what you do. All right, all right. You, you waiting for it? You waiting for it? Give me a character. Make it Ginseng and Honey. Make it Kadira. Make it somebody new. But give me a character who's like, I want to document all the animals. And then I find an animal like this, and I walk up to it. I press up, and they give me a little spiel. Spiel about the animal. Dope. That's a dope character. And it highlights all the cool background animal designs that you have that don't get any play whatsoever. Like, at all. Hence the spoiler. The spoiler is that all of these cool background animal combination things, they are just that. They never get highlighted. They never get shown. They're just that. Uh, boop. I believe the fastest way to do this is to come and hit this before hitting this one. You can do it either way, but I think it's like kind of finicky if you do it the other way. Alright, don't run. We can't run. We actually have to walk and pace ourselves so that we don't hit doggos and sand golems and whatever else is out here save all right we can do this run and yeah, easy peasy almost halfway oh my god can you imagine what it's gonna be like with four pips to attack with dar will almost almost be useful and won't be terrible all right that's not how you do it i think you have to run and jump run and jump no how do i do this Really? That's simple. Okay. You trying to hide under the foreground? Thank you. Just how long is this thing? Judging by its diameter, I'd say it's quite long. Well, yes, quite the scientific term. That mystery thing disappeared. Oh my grob. Up, up, up run past the birds up here or wait he was right Oop. he was on the opposite side wasn't he he was over here right so that means this way is open yo good thing i know this map kinda hmm there's an up and there's a down down we go i i, I just said i knew the map I don't know if I'm going to optional route or the primary route. What's up there? All right, I can access it either way. Oh, yep. 
Oof. Oof. Okay, I see what you need me to do. It's pretty crazy. And the window's gonna get pretty tight, bro. Never mind. Window is super loose. Just like me. Woohoo! Okay. 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 Relax. Stop losing it. Make sure there's no enemy to bash my head into. And then... Down. Up. 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 Nicely done. Up. Up. I don't know what we doing here. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Okay, I was thinking for a second. Like, why didn't we just go the other... I saw that. Top corner. I'm like, why didn't we just go the other way? And it's because it was a huge cliff, dum-dum. We have to traverse these ruins now. Ruins, not runes. But perhaps, perhaps there could be runes here. I don't know what I'm doing with this voice. I don't know why. Uh, scroll? Just to make sure I'm not encountering any enemies. Thank you. You. Down. Up. Yes. Alright. We're pretty much not back. Oh, yeah, kind of backtracking. Honestly, it seems less like rune. Why am I saying rune and not ruin? What the hell is wrong with me? It seems less like words. Words. I'm not even reading and I'm messing this up. It seems less like ruin traversal. And more like we're just chasing down the sandworm. That one sounded different. What just happened? It sounded different that time. I think it's retreating to its lair. That may be our ticket out of here. Okay, let's just take it out. Let's go. First hit up the save point. What am I doing? What is this? And then we drop down the hole once again. To a boss fight. Die. Die. And then we run into him, and he's worthless. And then we just beat him down. Like, that's it. That's, that's what this is. That was super fast, but I, I honestly don't care to try and block it. We got a ton of health. And then we just run over here, bash into you, and then repeat. I could use my meter, but you're not kind of, yeah, you're kind of not worth it. Boop. 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 I don't know what I'm holding back for. Just use the meter. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'll try to use the meter this time. It's easier said than done. Kamehame. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of cut off screen, but trust me when I say Ajna performs a Kamehameha. So fast. Maybe I should let you live just so I can try to perfect block that. And then we run over here. I swear this boss fight got patched. I swear that this has been patched to be easier. Because I remember this fight. It was actually pretty annoying to do. And fairly difficult, I want to say. Huh. I want to say it was fairly difficult. Because it used to be, and it doesn't appear to be that way now, but it used to be that he couldn't be run into like this. And I can't revive Ajna because you need to have full meter to revive something. That didn't matter. Ajna's back up anyway. Let me give you some distance to perform your Kamehameha. A little bit. There we go. Not that it mattered. Oops. But yeah. It used to be you couldn't just run into him like this. He would just teleport away and you had to shoot him with an arrow. But now apparently they changed it. 
Now it's super easy. Wait. Chomp. Also. And there's our way out. Also, another thing oh, I remember. We can't keep it. No. Why do you like Santa Worms so much? They remind they me of my, my youth. My youth. Huh? huh? What's wrong, Kadira? Adira, what's wrong? I just hope my brother is okay. Thanks to you and your friends, I'm finally going to face the Iron Kingdom. Oh, well, I kind of know how you feel. My dad just died. Dar killed him. Dar did? Hmm. How could you? It was... I, I was under orders. <laughs> a fine excuse. Ravanovar raised me since I was a child. I didn't... I, I didn't know. Frankly, I don't know how you can all stand each other. Oh, shush, Zebe. Break it up, children. I'll not have you fighting until we reach the port. Yeah, then you can fight all you want. Hmm. Kadira, don't worry. We'll figure this out together. She has orange hair but black eyebrows. Oh, it's so infuriating. Anyway, two things I think changed about that boss fight. You can run into the guy. Previously, you had to shoot him or else he'd just teleport to the opposite side. And I swear that the sandworm used to be either faster or bigger. And so you couldn't just run past it and ignore it. Maybe I'm remembering wrong and it's always been insanely easy. And I just sucked the first time. But you know, whatever. It's whatever, baby. We won. That's all that matter at the end of the day. Can we get up here? Hmm. Yeah. Nope. Just barely missing it. And I don't believe there are more fights. So run, run as fast as we can. And reach the port. Maybe there's a ring cell around here. But yeah, find it or hear it. Come on. Ain't that bad. We super can't get up there. Yet. Dot, dot, dot. Port Marifa. And a save point right before it. Because, oh. Oh, you don't know. You don't know about Port Marifa. But you're going to find out. Not now. Or maybe now. I don't know how this is going to get cut up. But it's a new town. Guess what? That means NPCs to talk to. Guess what? I think Port Marifa, yeah, Port Marifa is like two or three Oshawott villages combined. There's like 30 NPCs to talk to and voice. Oh dear God. All right. Port Marifa is also... Well, we'll talk about it. Here it is, Port Marifa, the gateway to the world. Huh, for a gateway, I thought it would be bigger. We can get ships here, that's the main thing. Right, about that. What does everyone want to do? I dragged you into all this, and none of you owe me a thing. <sighs> it's okay, Zebe. I appreciate everyone's help, but we're through the sandstorm now. None of you have to stay. But I need to figure out what this Kala thing means. Find out about my own power. I... I don't even know all the stuff I need to figure out. Ajna, you are the grossest, most disgusting person I've ever met in my life. Everything around you turns into a disaster. Sorry. I, oh. I guess you're right. So, obviously, I'm coming with you. Bomb is too. He has to come because he's mostly dead. Aren't you, you little idiot? Oh, thanks, Razmi. Right? Am I thanking you after that? Who knows? Whatever floats your boat, buddy. You saved me in the desert. You said you'd help me find out what happened to my brother. I'm coming. <laughs> but you leave me alone, Razmi. No lips. No lips. Ginseng? Well... This is a lot more dangerous than I expected, but you can't become a world-famous botanist without some risk. So, I'm coming. I think you could, as though. As am I. You still haven't fully recovered, and you need a guide as your power grows. 
And someone to buy you cute dresses and do your hair. What's wrong with my hair? Oh, nothing. Oh, absolutely nothing. Just for fun. Didn't your mother ever fix your hair? Ooh. I didn't really know my mother. <gasps> no. Well, an Almushin braid would look lovely for starters. <laughs> well, thanks everyone. I really appreciate your help. Oh, but Zebe? Right. I want no further part in destroying the world, thanks. Or helping it. I've done enough to help the charade. I'm with you only until we find a boat. I hate you. Well, where a protector goes, so too must I. I understand. I'll make sure everyone who wants to stay finds a boat. How's that? May I say I'm something? Says Wait. Dar. May I speak? Better make it good. This is the big who stays and who goes conversation. And I'd prefer if you left. And I'd prefer that you go. I know. I know most of you don't like me. And you have good reason. I did... kill Ajna's father. I thought I was doing it for the good of the world, but Ravanovar had blinded me. He raised me since I was a boy, and he spoke so lovingly of the new world he would create. I had no idea he meant to destroy it first. And I had no idea the deeds... acts we committed were done in the name of destruction. How did you not know killing innocent people was wrong? Heretic. I was told they were blasphemers against the gods. But in truth... I have no excuse but youth, and yet you are younger than I and committed no such atrocities. Ravanovar told me the heretics we dispatched would be reincarnated in paradise and live a better life, but I had never stayed behind after a battle. I'd never had to see the consequences until now. Apologizing isn't enough. I took someone precious to you, and I can never bring him back. Please, Ajna. Let me offer my services to you as penance. You don't have to like me. I don't. I don't. But let me be your sword. I have no purpose. I have nowhere to belong. Please. I don't want to become some mercenary for hire. I know I'm asking even more of you. But I want to try to do something good. Let me help you save this world from destruction. Well... No, Ajna. Don't do it. He's the worst. True. Yeah, he is. But maybe he deserves a chance. For what it's worth, he is being sincere. You're a lie detector now. I'm... I'm gonna consider it. But listen, Dar. From now on, you're listening to me. And if we find someone who needs help, we're helping them. No discussion. I am yours to command. I will not complain. And... Thank you. This conversation got weird. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Let's get going. And thanks again, everybody. Except Zebe. And screw you, Zebe. Not because you're leaving. Who cares? But you're taking Kushi with you. I don't believe we got time to talk because cutscene. Watch yourselves, outsiders. Huh? We're not doing anything. Yet. Shush, shush. me. Make sure you tread lightly. This area is under the Iron Kingdom's control, and we won't hesitate to jail any dissidents. Like you took my breath. Dissy what? Kadira. Who? Us? Dissy what? <laughs> nah, we're just casual. I've got my eye on you. I just hate them so much, says Kadira. That was close. Keep it cool, will you? I'm sorry. I just hate them so much. All right, first, let me go save again. Just in case we die in town, we don't have to repeat that. We can't die in town. I don't think so. Uh, I believe that moving forward through Port Marifa, that a bunch of these are just, not NPCs. They are NPCs, but they're OCs as well from like Kickstarter backers. So, you know, let's be rude and judge the appearance of everybody's OC after we read their dialogue. Or you know, during. Diamantina. This is weird. Uh, I guess I'll point it out now. Diamantina has an additional portrait to go with her model. Not every character gets that. What makes you so special, Diamantina? Were, were you a higher tier backer? Is that what it is? Uh, outside is, eh? If you look, 
Uh, if you came looking for work, you won't find it here, unless you call kissing the Iron King's butt work. Gr uh, gross. Who would call that work? It's just an expression. It's not a literal, do you kiss the Iron King's butt for work? No. I, how did we get on this topic? You brought it up. Oh, um, I guess I did. Never mind then. That'll teach her to try and give us helpful advice. Yeah. Eh, we'll give this a five. It's pretty middle. Yeah, sure. Middle works. See, uh, Emmy Star here, which, come on. She doesn't have an additional portrait. Mm-mm-mm. You can learn so much about a nation's culture through its food. Emmy Star, I like the gumshoe jacket. I like the half a yin and yang pendant. And believe it or not, the beige coat, black top, and green skirt? Shorts? Shorts. I think it works. Crump. I ventured to point Marifa often. That was in past sense. Because there's a plethora of unique goods made by the locals. Meanwhile, my little Ares here. Aerith? Ares? I can't tell. Uh, likes it here because of the culinary delicacies. Because of all the fresh fish here? Her favorite is the curried fish stew. Is that a little chihuahua on your shoulder? We'll give you bonus points for that. But otherwise, you look like a generic adventurer. Sona? Uh, I mean, Shell. Shell? Shell? I wouldn't be here if my friends didn't believe in me. I always believe in them too. And that's what the bond of friendship are all about. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Now shoot, I need to practice. Honestly, I like it. I wouldn't think that two different colors of blue would go with yellow and pink, but I really do like it. Have I given a number? Yeah, screw numbers. I'm just gonna say I like it and move on. But how do we know that these are OCs and not just traditional NPCs in the game? Well, let's ask this man here, whose name is Ultima. Yeah, but Ultima isn't even the worst offender to let you know that these are uh, OCs and not NPCs. Oi, name's Ultima. I'm on a long journey to meet many new faces. A traveling pal told me all about mysterious sand painters named Sangmu. I've heard she, wait, about a mysterious paint, the yeah, sand painter named Sangmu. I've heard she's skilled, kind, and cute. Ultima, I do not like your design at all. I think it's your build. Never have I felt that a person's build ruined their design, but I feel like the attire you're wearing should be tighter fitting. Hey, right, that's just me. That's just me. Lenny the ukulele bard. I'm saving up money to go on an adventure. I only have 1,000 gold right now, though. Maybe if I save up 10,000 gold, I can even join you. Is that what they told you when you backed it? Lenny the ukulele bard. I don't like your design, Lenny. Them pants? No. No. That's a big no from me. Yo, what are you coming out the 21st century for? Get out of here. Uh, Mitchell. Wait, one second. Freaking headphones, man. Uh, it's a royal privilege to do good and be ill spoken of. Wait, what? To be ill spoken of? I guess I'm reading that right. Uh, okay, Mitchell. Design wise, I'm gonna give you a no simply because we're in a fantastical world and you got this man over here with his generic fantasy appearance and a chihuahua and you looking like this. Yo, come hard or don't come at all. Uh, uh, figuratively speaking. Frank, please come in and take a look. Make your time in Port Mar yeah. Make your time in Marifa a memorable one with a fine souvenir. Okay, you know what? Let's nip this in the bud right now. You had, I forget who it was. You had generic anime man here talking about food. You have this man talking about all the gold he's got. And you've got this man talking about bay, bay a souvenir. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, spoilers, Indivisible is not, uh, it doesn't have a lot of RPG elements. Let's say that. So there's no shops, no gear, no items. Those resurrection lilies, yeah, remember, those aren't Phoenix Downs that are actually in the game. 
They're just something said and never seen or experienced. Batolu, Batolu? I sent you a curse like me. Hmm, wait, no. You are possessed by much kinder spirits than I. Consider yourself fortunate, young warrior. Fate could have been far, far more cruel. Design-wise, eh, I think it's all over the place. Maybe it's just the shades, but mm, can't talk to you. Boop. Also, like, this was going to take long enough in the first damn place just to talk to people. I should not be, you know, scoring this stuff. Uh, Apostolos. Hmm. Something bothering you? Yeah, the Iron Kingdom. That's what. I kicked them out of the port myself, but I just got this new outfit. And that means you can't fight? Don't want to get blood on my new exercise gear, you know what I mean? Won't it get dirty if you exercise in it too? <laughs> exercise gear is for looking cool and not for exercising. Huh. That doesn't really... Yeah, so anyway, that's why the Iron Kingdom's still around. Gotta be true to my style, you know? I only own one outfit myself. Guess you'll never be tough like me, then. <laughs> you don't know stuff. Um, design-wise? Yeah, screw this guy. You get a no, she gets a yes. Damn. Mm. I mean, I, uh, yes. Yes, just a yes. Ida. Jan, Mara's Din's star attraction is my idol. If you're ever in Tai Krung, you've got to see her. Don't let the CD venue fool you. She has such grace and poise unlike anyone I've ever seen. What are you? Like an idol? A magical girl? A princess? I, I don't know what this design is. Is She's got a cape and a scepter. I'll give it a yes. I wish that it was a... I wish the colors were a bit more vibrant, like a deeper blue, a darker black, but for the most part, hey, it's fine. It's fine. Sangin! Oh, man, you got banned for a while. Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. It's been a while since I've gotten to do any real fighting. I'm so used to fighting actors that I'd forgotten how good it feels to slam my hammer into a monster's face. It reminds me of the good old days. Do I miss all my fans back home? Oh wait, but I do miss all my fans back home. It's tough being a star. Let's look at this design. Okay, so you single-handedly bring furries. Wait, yeah, they aren't called furries, but you know what, let's call them furries. Or anthros. Yeah, you single-handedly bring anthropomorphized characters into the world canon. So, you know, a point for that. That's cool. I don't like your eyes, because it looks like you're blinking. And they just seem to be black voids. Star on your chest and the outfit coming together. You look like a generic superhero. Points for the mallet, too. We'll give you a slight yes. Give me one second. This is going to take forever to begin with without the pauses. <sighs> okay, back to an entire part taking 50 minutes and all we do is talk to NPCs. God of Vogger? Either my senses are deceiving me. But well, you have several souls in that body of yours. That's not natural. Well, as much as I'd like to throw down, my master has ordered me not to get distracted on my own mission. Have a good one. Maybe I'll see you around. You look like a zombie. I, I don't know if that's armor? I think I'm seeing stitches on it. I don't like it. I'm giving this a no. I'm giving it a no because of the belly plating and then the shoulders or the top i don't even know what that part of the body is called like just below the neck that's plated like if that plating went over to the shoulders and then the chin no no get out of here guard of Arger bargain out of here all the way out i can't get up there i don't think but i hear the ring cell up there maybe we can yo let's go bam there's a lot more ring cells here that we can't get yet, but still, I'm going to go ahead and tell you I'm already giving this design a yes. I like it. All of the colors clash hard, but it clashes in a good way, for me at least. Mana de las Azarola. Bruh. Hmm. Half that old boneheaded song... Wait. Half that old bonehead song go again. Oh, hello. 
Heh, <laughs> you're an interesting one. Name's Mana. Something about shipping sake across the sea. If you've ever... Oh my god, reading is so hard, bro. If you're ever in the market for something a bit off market, just come asking for me and my crew. The Wave Crest Strikers. I like the pink hair. Wait, what color are your eyes? Green, I think. I like the pink hair. I like the green top. I like the see-through little veil flowing from it. You're looking good, Mana. Wait, is there a down? Yeah, Zombo Man. Save. We don't want to have to re-talk to those NPCs later. Hmm. Muto. Mutu? Muto. The Westering... Wait. Man or woman? Yeah, that's cleavage. Okay. The Westering sun is too bright. That's all you got for me? I want to give this design a yes. I'm giving it a no. But the reason is, is that if you look, the flame whatever on her pants are all purple but the mask on her head the highlights are red and I hate it I hate it for that reason if it was all a uniform red or a uniform purple dope but that ain't the case scruffy I mean Marinos why do you get a portrait Marinos why hello young miss spare a moment for an old man sure what's up I like helping people. She does. It's almost like an illness. Well, you see, it seems I've misplaced my hat. Your, your hat? Tee hee. I can see that being a problem. Yes, it's my fa very favorite one. It's a brown cap, round about the size of, uh, round about the color of my vest. Little brim on the front. My outfit just isn't complete without it. Kind of like the one you're wearing on your head. But I'm not wearing my hat. That's just the problem. You are. I can see it. It's right there. Oh, oh, what an imaginative young lady. But no jokes, please. I really am worried about my hat. It's right there. You're seeing this, right, Dar? Why, of course. There's no hat, but... Why, there's no hat at all, is there, Dar? Oh, oh, that's right. I'm afraid I don't see a hat either. What? How is this? Wait, how is this? Do I have hat vision? Well, you let me know if you do find my hat. I feel lost without it. We certainly will. Um, yes, we will inform you. Dang, that was spooky. Phantom hat. Oh, Luke Sal, you are a precious one. Tarani, incurable prankster. I didn't get that from you the first time, but apparently that's what it is. Also, uh, a yes or a no on this man? No. No, just no. 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 And... Oh my god, give me a second. Anthan... Uh, Anthanasia. Ah, Anthanasia. Hello, dear. Welcome to Port Marifa. Though it's a little more dangerous than usual. Hiya. Dangerous. You mean all the soldiers? Yes, I wouldn't want them to hear me say it. But I do believe they have the port... Wait, I don't believe they have the port's best interest in mind. Just be careful, will you? We will. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, that's about as plain a design as you can get, my lady. So, average. A Tharwa. Mm. Young traveler, lend me your ear. My ear? You can't have that. I mean to ask you a question. State your business, seer. Then you know of my profession. My name is Tharwa, and I am... Yeah, I am but a humble teller of fortunes. I would tell you your destiny. I don't have any money. I do not need your money. I'm merely good, because I don't have any. I am trying to help you, girl. Jeez, whatever. Ajna tends to bring out that reaction in people. If your intentions are true, state your purpose. Ahem. <clears throat> I sense the pull of a powerful destiny. I feel multiple threads pulled together into one rope. I feel myself drawn to it. You're drawn to my rope? Y yes I guess that's right. Huh. And you'll tell me my fortune. Should you ever lose your way, I will be there to guide you. Oh, that sounds okay. Just don't ask for my money again. But I never... Oh, 
this explains the multiple threats I felt. Your powers as a seer are formidable. Why, thank you. What a pleasure to receive a compliment from such a handsome young man. It, it's nothing. It is a pleasure to meet you all. Should you ever lose your way, come to me. So, we recruited somebody who isn't here to fight. She's just here to be the, you forgot what you're doing in an RPG? Good. As far as her design is concerned, I don't like it. I don't like it. I just don't. It's the hair. It's the hair or the veil one. The veil on her head. Like, it's not even the color. I just think one of them is too much. Like, remove the veil. I think she'd be fine. Or, you know, change her hair or something. I don't know, man. Uh, Rise? Reese? Seatland. Oi. Why do I do that? Oi. Have you seen a knight with a shovel, horned helmet, clunky armor? That guy's in... That guy's pretty much everywhere these days. So I wouldn't be surprised if he showed up here sooner or later. Ooh, you getting a big no from me, bro. And that ain't even your design. That's just from how bad that aged. Ooh. Ooh. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't show up here, man. Ooh. Ooh, were they planning? Ooh, we're gonna get into it. Cafe Nez equals sand. Well, if you needed any more proof that these were just OCs, this man got you covered. One sec. Okay, let's talk to Cafe Nez equals <laughs> equal sands. Howdy, everyone. I am a tinkerer, and, and like building things from junk, I find some of it might help you out even. Ah, uh, but you should be warned. My creations can be a bit unstable. He made a little car. I don't like his design, but he made a little car. And also, are there going to be crafting mechanics? And we come back here to give you material? No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. My man, you getting a no out the gate. V-Bomb Caravelli. V-Bomb Caravelli. Welcome to this small businessman's humble shop. Can I interest you in some fantastical fireworks? Sure to be a blast. Or how about this antique statue on? Have I got stories about that? <laughs> no? Well, I'll be here if you change your mind. Okay. A dog? Man, I don't want to give a dog a voice. It's going to be... Or something. Ugh. I hate it already. Rah, rah. When painting, striving for perfection just tires you out. Next thing you know, you're in a slump. I make myself stop and relax, and eventually I know I'll get to the will to paint again. After all, ain't no right way to make an art. Reading is hard. Any, ugh, only opinions. Or, I mean, wolf? Design-wise, I don't like you. I don't like you. Pink ears and a pink tail and then dark blue paws. Yo, get out of here. Get all the way out of my face, dog. Out. Can't make that. Continue onward. We're almost done with Port Marifa. Jesus, how long has this part been already? Celsi? Celsi? My gastronomical tour begins today. Foods of the world prepare to be eaten. Design wise? Nah, too hippie for me, bro. Too hippie for me. We out. I'm gonna give you a yes out the gate. I like it. Aki, hi there. No, no, I've used this voice too many times. Hi there. Do you know any places where I can get one of those designer eye patches? Asking for a friend. I like you, Aki. You dope. Samus, Aaron. Well, we gotta give you a yes out the gate because you're just Samus. Sophie, dot, dot, dot. All right, Samus. Yo, hold up. Let me see them pants. Dark blue with the little... Are those the exact same as Samus's Zero Suit? Like, I believe Samus's Zero Suit. I could be wrong. But I believe her Zero Suit is like... Is it... I think it's like a light blue. But it has purple highlights on it, right? Light purple highlights or something? Alright, there we go. Anything or anyone up here. Yeah, there's a ring zone, but we can't get to it. It's way up there. Anybody up here? Nope. Back down to Samus and save. Because this 50 minute part of talking to people going on. Yo. Sing. 
sure, the H is silent. Ah, Port Marifa, such a beautiful place with so many beautiful people. I wonder if any would be willing to model for my paintings. I'm giving you a yes, although I don't like that you're just painting yourself. Although, I will comment that it's pretty dope that you can paint your own back of yourself painting without like a mirror to see it. Vagabond, found the meaning to all of this yet? Either you search long enough to find a suitable one, or you can fight to create one of your own. Neither way is bound to be easier or better than the other. It's up to you to decide in the end, or is it? You get in a no, mostly because you look like Ned Flanders dropped straight into a JRPG. I, I, I ain't feeling it. I ain't feeling it. We got this man here, who is very inconspicuous and certainly not anyone special that we should be making note of. Oh.